following from my video last week, I was talking about how nervous I was uh, just drawing in front of friends. Um, so I warmed myself up just drawing in the car on the way to the cottage that we were staying at. Um, drawing my daughter who was sleeping and the surroundings near me. It just got darker and darker so I started drawing in the dark. So this was actually the day afterwards. I felt a little bit limited with black paper. I've never drawn on black paper before. I quite like it. There's just something about light that I'm just trying to capture at the moment. And here are some of my non-artsy friends <laughs> that I was trying to draw. We were playing board games. So I was really nervous drawing in front of my friends. I just gave them a heads up and said, hey, uh, I need to practice. I'm drawing if everybody's okay with that. And then just went with it. They all made me feel very comfortable. And actually that sparked a conversation with a particular friend who knew an artist and um, it was their grandma. Yeah, it was really interesting. Anything that I come across, I'll just make collages. This is the Hobonichi 2022 actually and I've been trying to fill up empty pages in 2023. Um, I'm not precious with this uh, Hobonichi at all. I literally jot down things that has been happening throughout the day even on a day where there's hardly any ephemeras and of course still there are blank pages but that's okay. Are you ready? This is a juicy one. Okay, picture book course week three. What have I actually done? If you're new around here, I'm not able to tell you the tasks uh, in detail because of intellectual property, but here is what I've done for it. Um, lots of rough drawings, lots of trying to make belief. Ta da! <laughs> Let's just say that after this stage, the pencil drawing, I was like emotionally exhausted. <laughs> uh, so I took a break. So I did some urban sketching. Um, I tried to draw this scene, this building. So when I'm sat there, you'll actually notice from this footage that there's a lot of noise going around. But then there was like this one moment where it was quiet. And yeah, it was quite nice to kind of witness that. Um, so this drawing was actually made from memory. I didn't actually think that it would kind of look like part of the scene but because it's on the same page it kind of looks like it and then I got distracted by the pigeons I really enjoy drawing pigeons they're very cute I know some people think that they are flying rats but I find that the neck area where the green meets the purple is it's just really magical I love it and this guy started talking to me <laughs> talking about his childhood and I was just like we can just talk, I don't mind. And I actually told him that I'm drawing, but you know, if we're gonna talk, I'm gonna be drawing you. <laughs> uh, and so, yeah, this is the building unfinished. Um, time was up and then I met my fellow sketches. So back on with this uh, task, came back and I started to play around with color. Um, and I wanted to try it in a different medium. I really like the contrast between like the watercolors and um, 
pencil and ink. I just couldn't help myself and I had to put the ink in there. <laughs> um, I, I do like them. They're definitely more vibrant. Um, the one that thing I would say is I really like the expression of this little girl over here compared to this one. Um, and I don't know why exactly. We shall see how next week goes. So one of the last things that I did was Art Club um, and it's run by the Good Ship Illustration. It's free and it's online on their IG. They post it live um, and anyone can join. And to me, that is something that's all about fun, um, no pressure, it's all play, and the purpose is just to show up and draw, draw the things that you have in front of you. I chose to draw in my little girl's nursery, uh, there's uh, lots of knickknacks in there. Ink pen, can't get away from that ink pen, and this is a crayon.